Stress level zero dropped an update for Bone Lab earlier today. It was about two gigabytes in size, which is pretty big for the game. They quickly retracted this update though. Lucky for me, I had already fully downloaded it. So, what I've noticed is most of the levels that had developer key cards, there are now developer rooms tied to these key cards. So Michael's keycard spawns there. This is the first of two on Mind Dive, as we previously saw. And we're gonna go use this. Right over here. Over here in this corner, you'll see a little bit of the wall starts to look a different color. There's a keycard reader. Put Michael's card in there. Boom. Secret area. Got a clipboard here. Looks like it's maybe written by Michael. Heart or core? I've found what appears to be the energy center of the plate's root system. It seems to respond well to rhythm and music, as if this affects its growth and direction. I'm going to need to go grab some things to further test and experiment with this. It honestly does feel a little creepy. Not just so that it almost feels alive, but that there's a sense of danger here, like a radiation penetrating through reality. That's a little ominous. I wonder what that's talking about. Let's go check out this other keycard door. It's going to be the same key card I showed previously. Um, it's the one right on the loading platform. Let's get over there real quick. We can probably just Nimbus through here. Game didn't like that. Spencer's card here. This is our second key card in Mind Dive. There you go. It unlocks similar looking hallway. Slightly different though. It no longer splits off to the left like it did previously. And it goes right to the room that actually no longer has a second key card reader. And in here we find a very similar control room, except these screens are showing the exact same image that we see in the Tuscany Easter egg. Here's another clipboard. Talking about plates taking root. Those are the big plates describing the game mechanics that we see throughout Bone Lab. Looks like they're saying the foundation plates take root and the process is wild. It doesn't matter if MythOS or Monogon or the security team approves them. The raw concept, written as rules, layered with void energy, takes root and the world is born forth around it. I'll need to document my observations in a more formal medium, but the initial impressions were cosmic. The great plate appeared to slowly sink into the environment, which was originally a garbage pile. Void energy began to leak out, slowly dissolving and changing any material it touched. Eventually, metallic spheres, those are probably the metallic spheres that we saw walking into this area, and probably the similar metallic spheres we saw in Long Run, I'm thinking. So those began sprouting from the void energy, spreading and forming the physical aspects of the environment. Over time, the world took shape, creating a new space out of nothing but random matter. I'll continue to watch. Banana Land Dream is still alive. So I guess maybe we'll see Banana Land in a future update? Interesting. 
that's it for the mine dive easter egg look out for more videos i'm going to go through pretty much every level in bone lab moving forward through this whole update try to see as many developer key card doors as i can and post videos on where the card's at and how to unlock it thanks for watching